Hi everyone, my name is Marc Fidel. I am originally an English teacher and at the moment I work at the North CMS Local Educational Authority. More specifically, I work at the DAN department which is in charge of digital education. Basically, we are in charge of setting up digital technology and resources in classrooms to train teachers to their use and to handle any problem they may have with these. Within the key project, I am in charge of coordinating work package free which is the part of the project that deals with the creation of teachers' portraits. With my job, I am already deeply involved in digital education. The pandemic has been a real challenge for us, as it has forced us to react to unprecedented situations. The use of digital tools exploded, and the demands from lost teachers along with it. That being said, it's been a curse as much as a blessing, because now, pretty much every teacher in France has at least an idea of what hybrid teaching looks like, what tools are available, etc. So to me, the key project was just the next step, taking a look at what was there and going a step further. Oh, it's been a fantastic experience. As an English teacher, I was used to international projects, but it is the first time that I've been working with people from three different countries at the same time it has been amazing to discover their cultures, the way they see education, to share and exchange. It's a real pleasure. Now, regarding KEEP, I think it is quite innovative. I live in a region that is close to Germany and Luxembourg, and I have absolutely no idea how these countries handle school closures. The international aspect of KEEP allows us to have a closer look at how others did it. <laughs> Well, first, it was how everyone in this project is so passionate about the topic of the project. Education is such a fascinating topic, and it shows within the KEEP team. We've had loads of passionate exchanges, and also heated debates. Then it is also, like I said earlier, the international aspect that is interesting to me. I think it is the most innovative side of this project, having people from Belgium, Poland, Greece and France work on this common topic is quite unheard of, at least for me. Well, maybe not an anecdote, but I just remember the feeling of happiness we had when seeing each other for the first time in person, after having worked together for more than a year remotely. I mean, it just goes to show that no matter how proficient we get with distance learning, it will never really replace the real thing. Mm -hmm. 